the weather outside goes up and down. A few days ago it was in the 90s, now it's just barely over 60. The next week it's going to go up again, then go down again. That's, that's the nature of the world. Gain, loss, status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, and pain. They go up and down, up and down. And if we go up and down with them, it's like being on a roller coaster. You get lurched around, thrown around. And some people like the exhilaration, but it can also make you really sick. It's a lot better to have a place inside, especially when there's things like gain and loss. That can really drive you crazy. If you take it all that seriously, you have to say, okay, this is just the ways of, these are just the ways of the world. They have to go up and down, but the mind doesn't have to go up and down. If it wants to find some peace, as the Buddha said, there's no peace other excuse me, there's no happiness other than peace. If you can't find this good solid place inside where you can stay, you're gonna get thrown around. There'll be no real happiness. There'll be some thrills and pleasures, but no real happiness. So look inside. See what you can find inside that's really solid. You find that here you have your ups and downs as well. Your moods go up and then they go down. And we tend to think that's just the way it is. There's no other way of getting some peace in life or some happiness in life aside from just escaping the downs. But then when you go up, you can't really stay there. So it's good to find a place where you can stay. So try to make the awareness of the breath as consistent as you can. The breath is always there. It's just a question of making your awareness always there as well, not jumping around all over the place. This way you can survive the ups and downs and not get thrown off balance. Because what happens is when you're, there are too many ups and downs, you lose your sense of right and wrong, north and south. Your sense of the directions gets all confused. What you should and shouldn't be doing gets all confused. And that way it can, it can lead you to doing a lot of things you're later going to regret. So try to keep your mind as steady as possible in the midst of praise and criticism, pleasure and pain, and all the other ups and downs of the world. Let them have their ups and downs, but you don't have to go along with them. Learn how to separate yourself out. As the Buddha said, it's the only way you're going to gain some insight into things and gain some freedom from them is if you learn how to separate yourself out. It's either those are just the preoccupations of the mind, but your awareness can be something else. And you lash that awareness first to the breath to get a sense of okay, what a steady awareness can be. And then you can see you can separate yourself out from all kinds of other preoccupations. They can be right there, but you don't have to feed on them, because if you feed on them, then they make you sick. Feeding on the breath doesn't make you sick. It's health food for the mind. At the same time, it gives you a good place to stay. It's all of your basic requisites, food, clothing, shelter, and medicine. The breath can provide them for the mind. So it's not exposed to the vagaries of the world.